fuses and types of fuses what do you mean by a fuse in an electric circuit this is a very important question which you can expect in most of electrical engineer interviews answer is a fuse is an electrical safety device that operates to provide over current protection of an electrical circuit its essential component is a metal wire or strip that melts when too much current flows through it thereby interrupting the current so what's your answer a fuse is an electrical safety device which is used to protect the electrical circuit or your home appliances from over current okay next the working principle of fuse do you know the working principle of fuse yeah the working principle of fuse is heating effect of current okay next is why do we require fuse sometimes the interviewer can ask like this why do we require fuse yeah the answer is these are used to prevent the home appliances from the high current or over overload damage if we use a fuse in the homes the electrical faults cannot happen in the wiring and it does not damage the appliances from the fire of wire burning okay so what's the answer is it just prevent the home appliances from over load or your high current damage okay next which are the material used for fuse the material used for fuse elements must be of low melting point of course it should have a low melting point low ohmic close and high conductivity or low resistivity low cost and free from detraction the material which is used for making fuse element has a low melting point that is tin lead or zinc most of them know the which is the material used for fuse that is material used for wire inside the fuse link that is tin or lead or zinc which is having very low melting point and having very low resistivity and have high conductivity okay how do we select a fuse fuse ratings in ampere it's a formula ampere a is equal to power in watts by voltage in volts into 1.25 here 1.25 is 25 percentage of safety factor is taken for calculating the fuse rating in india some of uh, industries were using 1.5 instead of 1.25 both are correct it depends upon the load which we are using if suppose that load will create a much over current or fault current we have to protect the fuse itself right so we want to use 1.5 in some industrial application so sometimes they will use 50 percentage of safety factor but the standard format is 1.25 okay these are the different symbols of fuse which can you which can which can find in some electrical drawings okay symbols these are the symbols which is used for single line diagram drawings okay and different types of fuses 
There are two types, AC type fuses and DC type fuses. Different types of fuses, the block shows the different types of fuses. Fuses are of two types. First one is DC fuses, AC fuses. There is no division under DC fuses. The AC fuses are again divided into two, that is high voltage fuses and low voltage fuses, okay? And the high voltage fuse is again divided into cartridge type HV HRC fuse, liquid type HV HRC fuse, expulsion type HV HRC fuse, and rewirable type fuses, which is a low voltage fuses, and low again low voltage fuses are classified into cartridge type fuses. Dropout fuses, striker fuse, and switch fuse. Now, this low voltage cartridge type fuses are again divided into D type cartridge fuses, link type fuses, cartridge fuse, and again, this link type cartridge fuses two types that is bolted type and knife blade type. Okay, let's go to more explanations DC fuses in a DC system when the metallic wire melts because of the heat generated by the overcurrent then arc is produced and it is very difficult to extend this arc because of DC constant value to conquer this electrodes located at distance okay in order to you know because of this arc arc is produced it is very difficult to this quench this arc so to conquer this electrodes located at better distance that is it should be keep with a safe distance for this reason, the size of DC fuse is larger or amplified. Okay. This is the main reason why the DC fuse are much bigger in size than AC fuses. Okay. Once more, in a DC system, when the metallic wire melts because of heat generated by the overcurrent. That's usually happens, right? In order to pro uh, pro prevent from this overcurrent, we are using the fuses but in a dc system the arc produced is very high okay and uh, it is very difficult to extend this arc because of dc constant value dc is a constant source not like ac source ac can be a high value and much lower value and it will reach zero also right but dc for a dc once we are applying for 24 volt DC or 250 volt DC, whatever the voltage, the voltage is constant. So it's very difficult to extend this arc. In order to prevent this, we are using the electrodes which are keeping with a safer distance. So the size of DC fuse gets amplified or it's much bigger compared to AC. This is one of the example uh, of a DC. Uh, one DC fuse like this one, okay. Next, AC fuses. AC fuses are little bit smaller in size as compared to DC fuses and oscillated 50 to 60 times in each and every second from least to highest. As a result, there is no scope for arc generation between the dissolved wires. For this reason, they cannot they can be crammed in small size okay ac fuses are smaller in size as compared to dc fuse hmm? and oscillated 50 to 60 times in each we know that ac source is oscillating the frequency as for the frequency the oscillated 50 to 60 times that is 50 hertz or 60 hertz okay cycles 50 cycles or 60 cycles in every second from least to highest so we can use a bit smaller size ac fuses okay <laughs> next 
एल वी और लो वोल्टेज फ्यूजेस लो वोल्टेज फ्यूजेस आर डिवाइडेड इंटू फाइव टाइप्स सच एस रिवायरेबल कैटरिच कार्ट्रिच ड्रॉप आउट स्ट्राइको एंड स्विच फ्यूजेस ओके रिवायरेबल फ्यूजेस द मोस्ट फेमस किट कैट फ्यूज also known as rewirable fuse mostly used in industries and home electrical wiring for small current application in low voltage system rewirable fuses are low voltage fuses which are almost used for wiring in the house and small scale industries and are fabricated with porcelain The material used is porcelain. Okay. The fuse has two essential parts, such as fuse base, which has two terminals, and another part of this fuse is fuse carrier, which grips the fuse element. This element is fabricated with aluminium, tin, copper, and lead. the main advantages of fuse carrier is we can simply plug and remove from the base of the fuse without the risk of shock okay it's a kit kat fuse it's like this most of you know that from your home itself you can find such types of free re rewirable fuse right next is cartridge type fuses cartridge type fuses are used to protect electrical appliances such as motor air conditions refrigerator pump etc were high voltage rating and currents required they are available up to 600 amps and 600 volt ac and widely used in industries commercial as well as home distribution panels cartridge types of fuses has entirely closed containers and the metal contact as well they are again classified into two types d type and link type fuses two types of cartridges d type and link type and they are used in motors air conditions refrigerators pump etc okay and they are available range from 600 amps to 600 volt ac okay 600 amps and 600 volt ac up to 600 amps <coughs> example is this one this one is a cartridge type fuse okay one is d type and one is a link type okay this is link d type cartridge fuses This type of fuse is composed with the cartridge base of the fuse adapter ring and cap the base of the fuse includes a fuse cap which is packed with the fuse ingredient by cartridge using an adapter ring This is a D type cartridge fuse okay it's having a base of fuse adapter ring and a cap okay link type fuse the link type fuse is also known as high rupturing capacity hrc or bs type fuse the arc which is generated by the fuse blown is controlled is fabricated with porcelain ceramic and silver the container of the fuse element is packed with silica sand this type of fuse is again categorized into two parts such as blade type and bolted type it is fabricated with porcelain ceramic and silver it's also known as high rupturing capacity fuse or hrc fuse or bs type fuse okay and what is blade type and bolted type fuse right nee 
blade type fuse. This type of fuse can be simply changeable in the electric circuit exclusive of any load. Okay. This is the blade type fuse. Simply changeable fuse. It's it's uh, so many colors are available. Blue, yellow, red. Different types of blade type fuses are available. Okay. And next is bolted type fuse. In bolted type fuse, plates of this fuse are conducting are set to the base of the fuse. This is a bolted type fuse fuse okay bolted type fuse the shown as a 630 amps three phase 80 k 50 hertz fuse it's a okay next is a striker type fuse the striker type of fuse is employed for tripping and closing the electrical circuit these fuses are having Plenty of force as well as displacement. All these fuses are used in different industrial application. Depends upon the load which we are using. Okay. And the material which is, which is used. Which is best material. Or some fuses having at least uh, standard materials are used. This is a striker type fuse. Okay, this fuse is having plenty of force as well as displacement. Okay, it's used for tripping and closing the electric circuit. Okay, next switch type fuse. Basically, the switch type fuse is enclosed with a metal switch and also a fuse. These fuses are mainly used in low and intermediate voltage levels. Switch type fuse. Okay. That is house in, uh, in our house. We can see that if there is a switch type fuse which we are using. Right. Uh, near to the plug there is a fuse. Uh, fuse also we are using. That is switch type fuse. In house light. Uh, now to protect the lighting load. And such types of small small loads we are using switch type fuse. Okay. Uh, one is this one and uh, this is one of the example for switch type fuse and one more switch type fuse is uh, you know you know uh, you can see from your home switch boards you can find it okay high voltage fuses hp fuses are used to protect the transformer like instrument transformers small power transformers and also used in power system these fuses are normally charged for voltages over 1500 volt to 138000, 138000 volt. Okay. This is high voltage fuse. It's a big one like this we are using. We can find it in poles or structures transformer structures substations we can find these types okay there are two colors one is sand color and next is white color you can find it okay next is cartridge type hrc fuse fuse component of hrc is cut in the helix form which evades the effect of corona at the upper voltages this is cartridge type HRC fuse which can you which can find in substations okay liquid type HRC fuse this is also a high voltage fuse this type of fuse is packed with carbon tetrachloride and also preserved at both stops of the caps once the error occurs when the flowing current surpasses away from the allowable limit and the elements of the fuse is blow out, blown out. They may be used to protect the transformer as well as the support protection to the breaker circuit. This liquid type HRC fuse is a high voltage fuse. Okay, sorry. This is an example uh, for liquid type HRC fuse. Okay. Next, expulsion type HV fuse. 
these types of fuses are extensively used to protect the feeders as well as transformer due to they are low priced it is designed for 11 kv also their cracking capacity is up to 250 mva this type of fuse includes an unfilled open finished cylinder designed with synthetic resin bolted paper this is an example you can find such type of fuse in the structures two pole uh, four pole structures and in uh, yeah uh, during transmission distribution uh, structures you can find in uh, transmission uh, purpose they are using this type of in substation mostly in small small substation as well as in big substation you can find such type of expulsion type hv fuse mainly in 11 kv for 11 kv design uh, we are using this uh, type of uh, fuses are we are using okay resettable fuses resettable fuse is a device which can be used as multiple times without replacing it they open the circuit when an overcurrent event occurs and after some specific time they connect the circuit again this is a resettable fuse okay next thermal fuses thermal fuses is one time used only fuse they are temperature sensitive fuse and the fuse element is made of temperature sensitive alloy they are also known as thermal cutout or tco thermal links the fuses should be like uh, like this this is a thermal fuse okay 